following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Welcome to episode 74 of Anything, Everything, and Nothing with Lynn and Kim. Why the hell is you trying to sound all sexy? Like the, because I the, am sexy. Oh, I what's, am. what's the man kitty on, uh, wait a minute, the man on uh, like uh, Midnight, something on the other, he, on the radio with that sexy voice. Mel Devon. Oh, whoever Re- Rest in peace, Mel Devon. Oh, God. Okay, he did? Yeah, he passed away. Okay, back, all right. Last yeah. month. Okay. Um. Brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Visit our website at www.godefylife.com for all your favorite podcast content, music, sports, movies, and Defy Life gear. Listen and download and subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, iTunes, DefyLifePods.com, Spotify, or on any other of your favorite podcast platforms. You read so well. (laughs) Guys, listen, we need you to press play. (laughs) Email us at aen at godifylife.com. And don't forget to rate us how many stars, Kenny? Five, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. That's all right right there. I like that. What's Mm -hmm. up, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? How are you today? Doing good, baby. What's happening? Another day, another another dollar. Another day, another dollar. That's right. Are you making any dollars? (laughs) I'm paying my bills. You're yeah, bills? yeah, okay, yeah. I'm paying right. my bills. Man, look here, Henny. You know we got some big old things going on, but we just we can't say nothing just yet. Not just yet. yet. How to say just yet? But it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's mm-hmm. coming. You can you can taste the Pepsi. That's right. <laughs> taste the Pepsi. You can taste the Pepsi. Did I never you get heard that, that before. Yeah. <laughs> what's no. your Kenny? What's your favorite uh, Pepsi product? Pepsi. Oh, the oh, Coke. really? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I prefer Coca Cola. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Fanta Orange. Any other Fanta, Fanta Orange? Fanta now, I like grape. Fanta Orange, Fanta Grape, Fanta Strawberry. Okay, I like that. I don't like Crush Strawberry. Yeah, but, but you know. I rather have Pepsi because Pepsi is a little bit sweeter than Coke. Ah, okay. That's and why. And I'm not a dark cola. Ca- Me neither. Ca- I, I've I've cut that out. We only now do ginger ale in the house. If oh. we do any sodas. Oh, excuse yeah. me. Okay, <laughs> there y'all go. You could you get that from Publix. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we do go to Publix. Do you get that? From but I'm gonna tell you something. We're starting to do now called Instacart. That's what Chantel does. Yeah, Instacart. That's now where we just sit home and go online and order all your food and they deliver it to your house now. Well, we don't do Instacart, but we do do um, the online at mm-hmm. Food Lion. And, and you put it, you pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Try Instacart. I don't want nobody doing all that damn Instacart shit, man. Why? <sighs> I don't know. Just and wipe it down. We wipe our food down. Wipe our, our cans. Okay, do you do like big orders, or do you just do like kind of you know no, medium, small I, it's, meat it's, orders? It, it's you need to do big orders. I mean, at least a hundred dollars. What the hell is all that? Fifty dollars. What's you what know the in the background? You know, usually you have your door closed. I don't know why. Rosalind, the Lord, I need y'all to cut it down in there. I'm, I hear a bunch of noise. We we'll be back here recording. Ladies and gentlemen, this is live, live radio. Live, live on the podcast. Right. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, sir, what were you saying? I was saying when you do Instacart, you know, you want to do at least $150 or more, so it's worth your buck. So don't, okay. I, I, I wouldn't do $50 in Instacart. No. Okay. Mm-mm. And it's, so it's just like Uber Eats. That's exactly what it is. It's like Uber okay. Eats. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we haven't graduated to Instacart. It's the same thing as, what? it's the same what thing the f- as going to. Listen, listen. What? Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> what the? F- well, y'all just. Wait, 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 w
Well, well, well. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Who am I church? Uh-uh. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, here, right? Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, excuse me. Who the hell are you, and what are you doing here? <laughs> and why are you? And why are you wearing that shirt? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. He said, "Why are you wearing that shirt?" Even, even though, even though you look so good. Oh, uh, we are recording, sir. We are recording live. The truth is such a I know. Mm. COVID no. six feet. Oh, you're right. I'm six clean. feet. That's right. Six feet. I get. I get sick with Sis. you. What's up? What the fuck? The she's. <laughs> But yo, six yo, what's Hello. up? What you doing? I'm here to work. Well, I, she's here not. She well, hold on, hold on she a second. Work. She, she, she here to work. She, she here to work. Yo. she here to work. Hey, 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 hey. hey. you got to go, bro. I got to look. I, uh, I, well, I just wanted to get a. I wanted to get a hug because you're not get my a, sister. Oh, you're not his sister. Oh, I want to get a hug. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we do anything, okay. What what did you do in here? I mean, you work. You hit the quiet. I tried to episode. We done started. Oh, shit. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, no. Okay, we done started. Oh, uh-oh. Hold on. Hold Balls. on. Well, y'all. Y'all just heard all of all. <laughs> you're going to see it and you heard it. Yep. Lord, y'all. Lynn. <laughs> the other half of Lynn and Kim is back in the goddamn building. Has returned. She done came in and kicked Kenny ass out. Guns blazing. Okay. Get out my seat. Kenny was like, whoop, 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 whoop. Well, shit, I'm out. Okay. Uh, sis. Sound, sound like he had something else to do anyway. Sis. <laughs> what's up? What's going on? What's, uh, oh, oh, wrong hand. What's up? Well, not that hand. Y'all, wait till y'all see. Lynn <laughs> did this. She <laughs> did this. She did a... No, I won't say anything. I'm not gonna. Yeah, she did a, a whole, whole thing. Production. She got a whole thing. It's a production. It's a production. I'm a producer. Okay, I don't know if I need to cry or smile. Aww. What, y'all? As you know, because you just heard five minutes and seventeen seconds ago, I was on with Kenny. Yeah, he I'm now on too. with Lynn. <laughs> so guess what? She's back. She's back. Wait a minute now, are you back? She's back. She's back. She's back. God damn! And y'all, check this out. Unbeknownst is that a word? Yeah. Unbeknownst to us, I got my AEN shirt on and Lynn got hers on. <laughs> There's nothing like us, Lynn. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing like There's us. There's no. Okay. Uh, West Coast J, mm-hmm. this episode is dedicated to you. Dedicated to West this Coast J. I heard. You yes, told me. I told you what That's you my said. boy. Yes. yes. Sir. You right. You right, Jay. <laughs> okay. So, West Coast J, episode 74 is dedicated to you. Man, listen. Woo. Kim told me last night it's been seven weeks. Okay. I don't believe her. No, sis. But sis, I think she right though. Sis, huh? you your last episode was sixty six or sixty seven, and we are on seventy four. Wow. Yes. Okay, sis. It's been a goddamn struggle. Damn. Now I want to give a shout yes, out. I want to give a shout out to Kenny and your. Oh yeah. And I'm Roz. with you. And Roz. They held me down. They did. But it ain't nothing like you said. Hey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, hey, man. I, I know. Okay. I listened to the shows. Okay. I was like, Psh. okay. Y'all like, listen. <laughs> and Lord, we jack up that damn segment. I'm Lord. Let me let me say my you thing. Forgot, no, say, I ain't forgot. Okay, let's. Oh let me God. say my thing, cause oh y'all y'all all y'all. Okay, well, missed look, it all the way well, up. Check this out. Kenny and I had had already started recording. Okay. So do you want to keep, you want to, when you, yeah, I, we can pick up where y'all left off. I'm okay. good. Well, we need to start with the check-in because we did not, we were talking and okay. y'all was making all that noise. So y'all oh, heard me yalling. I'm mean, yalling. <laughs> heard me. I was saying hollering and yelling at the same time. Yalling. Yalling. So, yalling. Um, That's a good word. But yeah, so we didn't, we were getting ready to get into the check-in. Yeah. Let's check in. Check in. The, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let, what's today's date? This is May 24th. Okay. The day before Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. This is our big blast. Wow. Lynn ah, is ah, back. Ah. This is all right, man. That's so, like, who was checking in? Uh, hey, Poco. N- nobody was checking in. We were we were getting, we were oh, talking. Getting ready to we it. got distracted by Instacart. Okay. Instacart. So, yeah. So, sis. Welcome back. Go and check Thank in. Thank you. Ooh, you sure? Yeah. Seven, seven weeks. Seven weeks. <laughs> Where's the check weeks in? Seven weeks to check in. Hot almighty, as you would say. Um, Hey, y'all. I have missed you guys. I have missed my sis. It has been a whirlwind okay. of emotions, of 
trials and tribulations. Well, not trials. <laughs> not tribulations. <laughs> tribulations. Yes. I mean, it's just been a whole thing. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, what's the main topic today, sis? I mean, is that a main topic? Um, well, no, we, we have we don't have a main topic, but we have okay. an email listener question. Well, okay. Well, yeah. see, I, well, then I'll take up a tad bit of time. Okay. Really, hopefully quickly and explain. Okay. So several episodes ago, you know, we did have a conversation about, you know, Lynn's going through some things. And yes, she has been. Um, I actually, guys, and, and I'm not ashamed. I'm, um. I'm, I've, I went on the other side of, of my world. You know, I'm a therapist, but I went on the other side mm. and became a patient. Okay. I checked myself into a um, behavioral health center and I was there for about two and a half weeks. Okay. Um, and I did that because of the struggle. And I, what, my point was to not hit the bottom. I was going down mm-hmm. and I said, ooh catch it did you get close catch you got it. close to how, how they say rock bottom yeah okay yeah gotcha. I, I saw it coming so i was trying to catch it before it got there because i didn't want to be too late and being in the field i was able to recognize that cool so that's what i did check myself in two weeks um didn't get exactly what i hoped for oh. no 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 shade no to shade. the place because okay. it's an amazing place we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep said place unnamed yeah we'll okay. we'll keep said place unnamed okay but no shade okay just um they had a different focus it was a different focus okay I, than I'm, what you specifically right. needed gotcha. i'm not a substance abuser right and that's the focus okay and that's okay shout out it's, it's not mars village right <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing for people with substance abuse gotcha. issues okay but the thing is on the website they promote mental health as well but mental health isn't really a a deep focus i had an amazing therapist um, however i only saw her one time while i was there she must have been really amazing (laughs) i'm just kidding so right she fixed me this is so wonderful okay okay, okay. so i i expected to go and i honestly wanted to i wanted to go and scream and growl and cry yes and tell my story yes <laughs> didn't get to do that that didn't happen not really oh. one <laughs> one activity we did okay. we were in classes all day every day mm. even sundays okay. and saturdays and sundays so it was intensive every yeah. day all day yeah okay every day all day really poco <laughs> you live there um i had an apartment i had roommates i had some amazing roommates and we are keeping in contact. And I love these women. One was 74 years old. Remind me of my mama. Okay. And I started calling her mama. Mama D. Shout okay. out to Mama D. Mama D. And then Kaylee from London. Shout you out to, to my girl Mama Kaylee. D the, the yeah, information. Yeah, I'm going to set her up. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay. Gotcha. She got an iPhone, so she okay. might be able to work it out. Okay. Kaylee from London. Um, Don't and, she have a, does she have an accent? Yes, she has a wonderful accent. Okay. I loved it. I was like, ooh, teach me how to speak London. Okay, so. Uh, no, ma'am. Yeah. Did you say teach me how I to did. speak London? I did. Damn. Okay, I just... <laughs> She was so funny, and she and so every like word I would be like, "How do y'all say it there? Yes. How do y'all say that?" Nah, nah, nah. And some stuff she was like, "We said the same thing, right?" right. <laughs> Look cereal, but, but hey, but check this out. You know how we say we when we say wash up, okay? We talk about washing our, our body. body. Yeah, when they say wash up, they mean washing the dishes. Oh, so I was like, really? Okay, yeah, that's interesting. So anyway, wash up. Yeah, I'm going to wash up. She going to wash the dishes. She going to wash dishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm going to wash my butt. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting, okay. right? Okay. So Kaylee was amazing. Um, Kathy, shout out to Kathy. She's in Delaware. Love her. She was my first roommate, and then I ended up living with Kaylee and Mama D. So okay. it was a whole thing. There were men, you know, Rick, my boy, boss. Okay, so let me tell you about boss. Boss name is Jerry. Uh, uh-uh, uh, not boys. Boss, not, I call him boss. Not boss from C- CFS. No. no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, go ahead, go no, ahead. this is boss. His name is Jerry. He's from okay, wait, are Queens. B O Y C E or B O S S. B O S S. Boss. Yes. But it's boss. I was saying boss, boss because he's from Queens, New York, and that's gotcha. how his accent. Is. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I was like boss, and I okay. called him five O two because he used to be an NYPD oh. officer. Oh wow. Okay. And he's got that very familiar on TV New York cop. Okay. accent it gotcha. is so funny i loved his accent but then he became the community leader so okay. that's why i started calling him boss boss okay gotcha. shout out <laughs> he's to amazing boss. shout out okay. to boss okay. and and everybody i can't name everybody but anyway right. love all y'all um so it was an amazing experience in that connections were made okay 
and hearing about other people's struggles, other people's lives. Okay. You know, I, I do feel like I've made some lifelong relationships. Okay. Uh, additional, you know, relationships okay. that they may be distant. There'll be maybe a phone call a week right. to check in. Just to check in. But I, I do want to visit Mama D. I will say that. She lives in Newport News, Virginia. In Virginia, okay. She's 74 years old. Okay. So I do want to visit her. Okay. Because, yeah, you know. Hey, I'd like to keep up a, with her. Take take, take some self care time and take a trip and take a trip. Take yep. a long weekend or whatever. That's yeah. Right. That's so right. Kaylee and I have discussed. Kaylee lives in Charlotte right now, but she's going back to London in July. Okay. So we've discussed even getting together and going to Mama D together. Okay. So that's the thing. Mama D has an Amir too, so I'm excited. I want the Amirs to meet. Okay. And you know all of that. So anywho, um, I had to go and take care of myself. Okay. basically and i did get some self-care in i got some rest in i got some time to just be okay but the therapy you had that, no you had no titles when you were there no, not mom not, not mom therapist, not therapist not, not uh, just all of that yes okay i did have to play therapist one night but with a earlier roommate who was only there for a weekend when i got there okay i had to sit on the floor with her one night she didn't have why a good she insurance, cried. So she was but, like, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. She, she was only for a weekend. Yeah, yeah. She didn't have a good No, insurance. she was just, that's all she had left. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. by the time okay, I got okay. there. Okay, so um, sorry, I had to. Sorry for the insurance company. It's okay. Okay. The, no, they suck anyway. Okay. But anyway, um, I had to sit on the floor with her one night. Okay. But, and, and play therapist, but not after that. And I would tell them, I'd be like, listen. I ain't, I ain't no therapist. I was Don't come say, over here. See, that, that, that is what you need. <laughs> no, that's, that's not no, why no, you're no, there. No. That's right. Go, no. go, reach out to your therapist who you was correct. To. Okay, correct. And then, okay. oh Lord, I pull a bipolar girl. Jesus Christ! I had to play therapist a little bit with her too, but I would cut it off and be like, "Look, you just need to, you need to go over there. Go, see, go, <laughs> go see the people that you're paying. Go she, see the people yes, that you was that's did, being paid. Correct. Okay. She was hype. Not trying to be. But funny. anywho, I didn't get so the breakdown that I hoped for began in my therapy session with my regular counselor yesterday back here yeah okay okay so so, like, but, damn it. but you're following but your aftercare you got some aftercare. yeah okay. yeah this is my aftercare i do not regret going to the hospital okay it was a good experience as far as connections i did learn some things i brought a whole notebook back okay of stuff that sh- i can use personally and professionally to be honest okay um of you know like worksheets and stuff that mm. we did so i didn't I don't feel like I lost out okay. and I don't regret going. Gotcha. Okay. But I'm going to have to do more extensive work with my therapist. With your therapist. Okay. Um, I gotcha. And it just is a matter of everything kind of piling up. You know, I've been trudging along. I've been mm. doing. I've been holding. Okay. And it started getting heavy. Gotcha. And started weighing down. You know, I've been trying to be. The good daughter, the good mother, the mm-hmm. good therapist, the good friend, the good sister, the good cousin, right. the good niece. Just, just just the good. The good. Just the good, right. And be there for everything and everybody. Except and yourself. Except myself. Gotcha. Okay. Except myself. Okay. So that iceberg worksheet that I sent you, mm-hmm. I sent to Victoria as well. Okay. And we're using that as a guide. Gotcha. To how you're going to process your each outpatient thing. therapy now. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Each Good. thing that was in the bottom of the iceberg mm-hmm. will be processed one thing at a time. Okay. We started with mom and daddy yesterday. Gotcha. So that's where I am. Okay. Um, I apologize, you guys, for my absence, but I hope you still enjoyed while I was gone. But if you want me, I needed to do that. Okay. In order to be here today. All right. And beyond. And beyond. Well, let me say this. Let, let me say to you, sis, today is a great day. Um, AEN was hanging on by a thread. <laughs> you know that cat? You see that? You see that? The, the, the rope with the knot on the end and they got a little cat. Have you mm-hmm. ever seen that picture? Mm-hmm. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was the cat holding on, holding on. to the AEN rope. Um, I had had conversations with Jay. We're going to keep it one Yeah, keep it one hand. Uh, with Jay. With our producer, Yosh, mm-hmm. like I don't know where we're going. I, I, I'm not. I don't. Lynn, Lynn has kind of enclosed herself away from me. So mm-hmm. I'm just trying. I'm just, guys. I'm just here every week. Mm-hmm. I gave y'all the best that I got. If you liked it, fine. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Cause right. We, we did the best we could. Well, let me tell you, the listeners wouldn't know no different based on what I heard because okay. I listened while I was at the right. hospital. Okay. Every okay. week. 
Okay. I would take time and go on my walk or go sit and watch the turtles. Okay. Um, watch the turtles. Yes. They had two ponds full of turtles okay. and two geese. But the turtles were fun to watch. Um, and I would listen to the show. Okay. So, um, and I felt like I could relate to the turtles. Cause you know how they go in that little shell? Oh, geez. Anyway. Okay. I felt, yeah. But, but anyway. Yeah. You, the, the listeners wouldn't have known no different. Yeah. But, but, it, but, but, it, but it was, but see, like you and I, I don't have to. It's just a thing. Yeah, I kind of. We have yeah. a thing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And the whole thing with Roz was funny, and Kenny and Yosh and all that. But the whole AEN is about the me. AEN experience. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so today, you coming through the door and deciding to do it because I didn't know if you had you could muster up the energy to do it anymore. Mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? And then we weren't talking, energy. and we have cried, and we have <laughs> talked. And so today is a good day. Yeah. And whatever. Oh, we I, have almost broke up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that foolishness, girl, y'all. She come with the papers. I was like, I ain't going, signing. Look, here we go already. It's been twenty damn minutes, and we just talk. still talking. But check this out. Last week, y'all, and then we gonna move on to the check in. Hey, last week I called Lynn. I was like, look, I'm divorcing you. AEN is divorcing you. We're breaking up. And she was like, no, we're not. And I was like, yes, we are. And I was like, I was trying. I ain't signing. I was trying. She said, I'm not signing the papers. And I said, well, God damn it. I'm pushing them over to you. But my whole thing was, and if you read my companion piece, I'd rather be your sister than your co-host. Mm-hmm. And so whatever pressure this is causing you, let's not do it. Right. Let's just be right. sis. So we back to co-host. Yeah. And we boy. back to sis. Okay. Hey, they- Life wasn't the same without it. I, I okay. honestly. Well, for me, <laughs> hello. Okay, just let me say okay. shout out to all the people who sat in for me. I appreciate y'all. Right. Okay. So get you, the hell on. But get the hell on. Right. Okay. You check in. I'm gonna check in. I'm done because you okay. know ain't nothing else but work. <laughs> I got a I got a quick check in, guys. Um, I had my first Zoom meeting yesterday, mm. and it was 22 people on there. It was good. Um, we could mute everybody, and we were mm-hmm. asking questions. Then we would unmute them. Yes. I didn't have to travel to Greenville. That is to, amazing. That is amazing. Isn't it cool? You did it on the computer, on right? The computer. Yeah, because, you know, on your phone, you can't see everybody at one time, oh, which is okay. very annoying. You okay. got to swipe some to people, see everybody. Some but, people were on their iPhones, and then yeah. some people were on their computers. Yeah. Them. So that was cool as hell. Um, yeah. We are COVID conscious at Carolina Family services lovely and so we jennifer did the zoom thing and she paying for whatever she got to pay for and we rolling out so sounds good that was good we got another one june 13th honey okay Okay. log in i know that's right loving it okay um tomorrow's memorial day it is don't make no damn difference thus don't care we gonna cook out on the grill today but it's just like regular dinner ain't having no correct I'm COVID, go, con- COVID conscious. Just well, Nicole. This you'll hear this after the fact, but I'm coming over for some ribs. Just okay, FYI, M- <laughs> Nicole doing ribs tonight, today, to, to tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. I, one of them. I gotta find out. I don't tomorrow, know. He, he, ain't nothing changed. He, he nothing, ain't that ain't nothing changed. That's Poco, y'all. That's Poco. Um, yeah, it, I don't forget what the hell I'm going to say. But anyway, um, McKinley will be graduating Wednesday. Oh, she's graduating from kindergarten, going okay. to first to grade. first grade. First she's grade. In kindergarten still. Mm-hmm. Okay. She was in pre. Yeah, she was in first grade. Right. Okay. So see, he's a year ahead of. Kinley. That's right. So, um, Kinley, this will come out on Tuesday. Aww. So Wednesday, congratulations, baby. They're having a drive by. No people are the invited and all that. Okay. Family, no family for the parents mm-hmm. and the kids. They're going to drive through the driveway of the school. Okay. And that's it. So we're going to do something after the fact for that's her. That's fun. That's fun. Well, yeah. shout out just with that on Go that ahead. note. Graduate note. Shout out to Lon's daughter. Lon, <laughs> Maylon Jr. Um, she is graduating from high school. Oh, cool. On whatever day the 29th is. Friday. Okay, let's see. 29th is Friday, Friday. right? Yes. Okay, so yes. she's graduating Friday. Congratulations, um, Lon. She's online school. Okay. So they're doing an online graduation. Okay. Like, it, they're just going to do their names and what they're doing okay. beyond um, high school. Oh. And, um, and yeah. what is Lon doing? She's going to college. Okay. Um, I think line said usc because she just got an acceptance letter to Furman. oh cool. but i think she's choosing usc um but is there gonna be school in august and all of that okay well, i saying. mean usc is planning i heard my the child will said that they, that they opening if we're not doing it online my child won't listen be going. sidebar edison's daycare opens on the first yes Use Yusuf call and in front of them and I okay well let me see can both of them go blah, blah, blah. I was on board for a second mm-hmm. then I talked to you about it and you were like huh I was like hmm then I called Nicole and Nicole said well they can't open on the first that's cool but your kids ain't going oh, I okay. said oh 
Yeah, no. no. Oh, they're not? Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> okay. Too soon. She said, mm-mm, I will step in. Shout out to the godmother of the okay. year, honey. Okay. Shout she out. said, I yes. will step in where I have to. Okay. But your kid is not going. Okay. I was Good. like, yes, ma'am. Okay. Perfect. And plan B. <laughs> okay. No, but I mean, so, it's, it's too soon. Oh, it's too many it unknowns. Is. So just, and the numbers are that. still going. growing. Um, And we got to move on. We, we do. We, me and you ain't going to start that two-hour shit today. We ain't gonna start that shit today. Look here, we've been, it's been, we've been so long though. We've been averaging fifty minutes to an hour and a half. Okay. Look here. Uh North Carolina did started phase two of reopening last week. Yesterday two thousand cases, just right? In one day. In one from Friday to Saturday. Nothing else needs to be said. We can move on. We go Georgia too. Uh, and Georgia. Georgia okay. too. And uh, you know they we only talk about Georgia. Okay, okay. Sis. number four. What's okay. that about? We are going to shout out to our patrons this this week. Okay, and it's the kids edition. It's me, 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 me. Did you hit, did you hear me do your thing? Like, yes, I did. Did I do good? You did. You, did. did. you okay. did well with that. So we want to shout out to Amir, Yee. McKinley, Yee. Edison, Yee. and Marley. Yee. Did you see how I did that by the ages? Yes. Okay, that's so, so cute. guys. Um, you know, who, you know, you know, y'all. If you listen to the show, you know who that is. But they are patrons. They of the are. Father. Oh my God! Okay. Love the babies. Who is it? This it is, ain't Kenny. Shawana. Okay, hold on. Can I? Okay. Can I? Mm-hmm. okay. Do I pause? Do I pause? That's so cute. Okay, so yes, so Mir, Kenley, Marley, and Edison—they are patrons. Thank you, sis, and thank you, me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, but anyway, they are supporting us. They are supporting. Right. They are supporting patrons of the Defy Life Podcast Network. Right. So, hey guys. Love y'all. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you, thank you, Ma. <laughs> okay. Sis, it's time It's time to get on in and do what we do. It let, me have, my, let me get my thing right. Because I was going to say, it will, will we get it right this week? Yes. It's been off for seven weeks. It's been off for it's, seven weeks. Okay. I've been waiting. Who came the closest? Who came the closest? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. The closest? Okay. Ross was like, um, I, Kenny, the first time Kenny said, because uh, it's news. <laughs> Yosh was like, it's important to Lynn or somebody, and then, and then I think it's supposed to be important to me. Okay, and then Ross was like, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. The closest probably was you when you tried to recover it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it was still wrong. It was still wrong. It was, look, we all got our thing. parts. So that's it's why correct. you're back. You, girl, I got a song in my head. Oh, you ready to sing? I, 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 no, I'm going to wait. I'm okay. going to wait. Okay. Ooh, I got it. It's in my head. It's about freaking mm, oh just, okay never mind okay all right all right so mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh okay come on okay no 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 don't do it don't do it okay don't, don't do, do it. it don't do it okay. sis it is time for aen in the news and entertainment why sis because it's what's important to us and we don't care if it's important to you listen anyway Damn, I'm talking about she been gone for seven weeks and she come back on fire. Hello, sis. Yes. Oh, William Roddy Bryan. Do you know who that is? No, uh, no. No. Remember the man who explained. Remember the man who took the video of a Oh, yeah. I didn't know his name. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his yeah. name is William Roddy Bryan. Mm, okay. Well, yeah, he, uh, he got arrested this okay, week. Okay. Well, I'm confused. Okay. Are we mad at him? Yes, we mad at him. Oh. But see, in the beginning, we wasn't mad at him. because Th- That's thought, why I'm confused. We thought he was being a good Samaritan. He was part of the damn conspiracy that <gasps> did that little boy. He has been charged with uh, 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 felony murder uh-huh. and criminal attempt to commit false imprisonment. See, uh, uh, okay, please they explain. Were, they, I'm were, so they were in front. The, the, the daddy and the son were in front. Okay. Roddy was in the back of them. So Ahmad was between them. So if he tried to get away, Roddy was back here to hold him in. You feel me? Oh. Yeah, but see, he thought he was going to get away with that shit. Because he, he tried to look like he was just recording. Recording, yeah. Oh, he was he was recording, but he was also there to help in that goddamn murder. But then why did he record? They probably was going to go back and look at it. Look how we killed a nigga. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. But see, once he saw, I don't think he knew they were going to kill him. Mm-hmm. I thought they thought he was going to try to scare just him or scare rough him up rough a little him bit. Up. Yeah. And then when he got there, he was like, oh, shit. You know, yeah. but yeah, so he's been charged okay, with felony well, murder, criminal yeah, attempt. As for, I'm so, Kim, okay, this yes. happened all in the midst of my 
yes, struggle. My you, struggle. You struggled. That's right. That's your, your struggle. So it was like guy that recorded it, yay! Yay! And right, then it right. was guy that recorded it, arrested. And then I was like, wait, no, what the, happened in between? I'm confused. When I heard about him recording and the, and they had the film, the video. Yes. Okay, I was like, yay! But then I watched him and the lawyer okay. on Chris Cuomo, mm-hmm. and I was like, something shady. That damn lawyer, it was, you could tell that it was okay. something shady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, Child. so minute, Mr. Williams, Brian, Brian, guess what? Caught. I hope you get in jail just like the rest of them. And I hope they do what they do to the rest of them. Do you in jail like they do to the rest of them? Right. Because your ass ain't shit either. Excuse me. At y'all. all. Okay. So then, staying with that foolishness. So then the sister of, Tra- was it Travis? Of Travis uh-huh. and the daughter of Gregory. Gregory. Mm-hmm. Lindsay McMichael. Here she go. Here she go. Get what she do? Post the body. She post the body on Snapchat. The, 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 the. Hey, okay, no, no. How about this? How about this? You explain. You explain. Tell me what. Tell me what makes sense. Because I to, I got what she said, but I want you to tell me what you think. I don't think, think nothing. That was horrible. Like, why would you do? Th- why would you and do did that? Snapchat take it down though. I do we don't know? know? I don't. People I saw it. Oh. People saw it. But since yeah. this is what she said, <clears throat> y'all, it was word for word. It was more of a holy shit. I can't believe this happened. It was your brother who did it. It was absolutely poor judgment. Uh, It was absolutely poor judgment. And my thing is, I am sick of apologies because, see, it's already out there. People, millions of people have, excuse me, has already seen it. Mm-hmm. So apologizing, I don't mean that no. you already did the do. You did the deed. Okay, so she's trying to say that she- her posting it was like a holy shit i can't believe this no her yeah her her recording it and posting it to see it because she's a Mm -hmm. crime fan that's what she said she loves crime she watches it on tv hours hours at the time okay yeah Mm -hmm. so she's yeah so her Mm -hmm. thing is it was like holy shit but i'm like yeah it was your brother with the goddamn murder you didn't think to say like oh like oh shit right i can't believe my brother just killed this man right how about that so ridiculous she just all, all of them our poor white trailer trash people. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. I almost said the C word. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna be nice. Be nice. Yeah. Poor judgment. It was absolutely, absolutely poor judgment. Poor judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, bye. Okay. Sis, on another note, Magic Johnson. I just saw like all of this black folk. I didn't know we had all that black folk. Oh no, it ain't. It's, it's not. Uh, it's just, oh, it's one story. It's one oh, story. Okay. It, it just had to. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. Why am I looking ahead? First exactly. of all, see, 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 y'all. She got to get back into the groove of things. You yeah, know what she, I'm saying? Yeah, got to um, Magic get it, Johnson. Girl. He gonna give a hundred million dollars of his own money and his equity trust company to the SBA PPP. And if you listen, <laughs> that's what Kenny and them got the Small mm-hmm. Business Administration Paycheck Protection Plan. Okay, that's what that is. But women and minorities. But mm-hmm. then I got some information from Tyrone about minorities are really not black people and brown people so right it's a whole thing i i can't even begin to say it because i'm gonna jack it up but we're gonna get tyrone to come on and follow it up or i'm gonna get him to do it on black gumbo okay because it's really really important yeah it's really really important yeah when it comes to when it comes to the sba minority could be women that Mm -hmm. that is true, true but it does not mean black or brown or brown that is correct I was like, I bet damn. And then he, he connected it to affirmative action and all that. Okay. And I was like, brother, you just need to be a somebody at damn Something, Harvard University thank somewhere. You. Something. Oh my God. But Magic Johnson, but that's a boss move. Right. Like, it is. When you, but then how can he make sure that it's his idea of minority people? Because I'm pretty sure he's talking about black and brown. And see, that's what I said. I said, it's probably going to be black and brown and or women, black and brown, but I'm sure there's going to be some type of parameter around the, okay. if you get that money from his deposit. I'm right. sure. Okay. But anyway, even whoever gets it, just yeah. thank you. Magic thank you. Johnson. Magic. That's just, he was a basketball player. Right. And he's a, He's he's a boss. Gajillionaire, apparently. He's a, he's a boss. Okay. So, do you think it'll be a million dollars to a hundred people, or no? It's a hundred million dollars, right? But okay. the breakdown oh, is it just whatever? Yeah, it's whatever however it. Because like, okay. if, if we needed it for a n and we only needed sixty seven thousand dollars, okay, we could get sixty seven thousand gotcha. dollars. But the total he he's depositing is a right. hundred million. million. Like, damn. Okay. Sis, Let me do, give him do, my bank account. Do over. you watch wrestling? wrestling i do not okay does cj watch wrestling no oh, okay so shad gaspard mm-hmm. 
I don't know who I know who he is now. Okay, former <laughs> WWE star. Mm-hmm. Um, his body was found on the California beach three mm-hmm. days after he went missing because mm-hmm. he was swimming in Marina Del Rey. Mm-hmm. Why is you swimming in Marina Del Rey? I'm is d- it dangerous? Or something? Well, I mean, I know that's just a like, riptide got him. Well, that's just like the girl, the the lady going in the Chesapeake Bay. Why is you out there? What 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 is you doing? He was so sexy. Fine. Okay, now let me tell you something. I looked at that picture, and sexy fine never came to mind. I was just like, why would you out there swimming with your ten year old son? Oh. But they said both of them couldn't swim. Now I don't know. Allegedly, what I hell? just in me. Okay, so then that is a question. Okay. Why was you out there? In my readings and trying to okay. investigate. I read somewhere I that, that he was not him nor the son could swim. Now, did you see the post about he said, save my son? Mm-hmm. Now, see, somebody said, so how y'all know that? Did the rescuers say that or did the son tell him? How y'all know that? That's what he said. Because somebody else posted that. It wasn't him. Oh. Right. So is that just something that you tried to make him a hero? Right. But anyway, right. So um, I wonder if the kid he was trying to save the kid the kid went out there and then he trying to get him neither one of them can swim Don't but know. they said something about a but, riptide but the son the son was rescued and yeah. they said a wave came and swept him out to sea just took him out the daddy mm-hmm. <gasps> took him out and they, they said the lifeguards saw that saw the wave coming they went to rescue him they were able to rescue the 10 year old son but the wave came and took him under and took him on out and they found him three days later Ooh. is that not horrible that's why I don't mess with beaches. That's why I don't mess with Myrtle Beach, uh, Tybee Beach. That's why I don't and go around I water. I love the beach. No, but stay away from the water. I do stay away from the water. Yes. If I get in it at all, it's to my ankles. <laughs> but, but the damn riptide might come take the ankles away. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I no. do love the beach. But I don't have to be in the water. In if the, I could just, just see go it lay out. Yeah, or just, just be on the sand and, and, hear and just it. hear it yes. and see it. Oh, that is Just the most hear peaceful. the waves and the water and all that. Stay out the water. Yeah. That is god that is the universe it is it's gonna beautiful. do what it does even though i secretly want to be a mermaid but i'm not gonna try that's a whole other damn episode she said i secretly want with the whole fin and everything everything okay we're we'll talking ever about since that. i was a little girl talk about that in therapy <laughs> i need you to talk about that with your about therapist. how me and lana sean used to get in the tub and put salt in the water okay, okay. all right <laughs> but anyway guys um he was famous for being with the wrestling team crime time yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I just yeah. saw the big picture of the big buff man. Yeah. But I never did think, oh, wow, he's sexy. That, he that's the cute. first thing you saw. I thought he was thought when you saw that. Yeah. Okay, all righty then. I mean, you know. Check this crazy story out. Ugh. 30 year old Gregory Tyree Boyce. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was in the first Twilight. Twilight, right. Okay. And then his girlfriend. <laughs> the <only> brown person. <laughs> right. <laughs> his girlfriend, Natalie. Go ahead, mm. sis. Mm. Adipose you. Okay, Adipose you. Okay. Which would be probably is African. Okay. They were found dead in Las Vegas. Mm. Now it's okay. But anyway, the death, the, the cause of death is still pending. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boyce has a 10 year old son and Natalie was survived by a young son, Egypt. Aww. Okay. Okay. Now sis, I'm, I'm just keeping it 100 because that's what we do. So a GoFundMe page was set up for Natalie and they were asking for donations for the funeral. Okay. Now I saw two pictures of her and her, her Natalie and Gregory. Uh huh. One they was they was on a BMW with the nice shoes on and all that, and then another one where they was it was a cute picture. They were kissing, you know, but they mm-hmm. had on the nice little stuff. Mm-hmm. Why you ain't got no goddamn insurance? I'm just asking. True. Now True. my condolences goes out to the family, but don't expect me to pay for your. Don't expect me to pay right. for your funeral. What I got the GoFundMe for. What is the GoFundMe for? And somebody and don't ask about the don't. They don't want you to ask what was the cause of death. And they want you to respect their wishes, but yet you want my my money? No, tell me. Yeah, um, it was a murder the, suicide. The, um, it was a murder suicide, sis. Okay, you think I, it was a murder suicide? Okay, let's say allegedly. We don't want to get sued. Allegedly, allegedly, I'm thinking murder suicide or murder pat. Ooh, that, that's what I'm thinking. We, you know that that whole Romeo Juliet thing. That's what or I'm thinking. Could somebody have robbed them and killed them? But they did. They didn't say they. they it was like homicide. They were just like it's still pending. They did. Sis, I I think it's murder mm. suicide or murder pack. That's okay. what I'm thinking. Well, somebody hiding something. He put a post up a couple of months ago that he didn't think he was going to make it to thirty. Did you? Did you? Yeah, he made. He put an Instagram post up that said, "I never thought I would live to see thirty. Um, thank you. I'm glad I made it. I'm going to try to make the best of the rest of my life or something like that. Just that's just kind of cryptic. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So I is. don't know. But, I need um, a story. They need to tell us what the hell going on. I need okay. a story because 
he, I, was he saying. suicidal right was he did premonitions Anything. i mean what are we doing here what are we doing here i'm just okay. saying now this next story not two children ain't got no parents ain't got no but parents okay. um let me tell latisha mesa she need to go on somewhere who that is oh <laughs> she need to, <laughs> okay your long lost daughter that listen stepdaughter that you didn't listen. know listen What's her name? Letitia Maser of Maryland. Maser. She said that Jay Z is her daddy, and she's his long lost daughter. She said she's been told all her life that Jay Z is her biological father, and this is his chick's Instagram handle, y'all. At Jay Z first daughter. Oh, Jesus. here she go. Oh Lord. Here okay. She go. Now, okay. I okay. So now she's out there sharing that her mom has MS, and when her mama was back in the day, she was vibrant and fine, and that's when Jay Z was messing with her. Mm-hmm. But why now? Why at 28? Right. What's going on? And I think she got a book. I heard she got a book. Oh, I think she got a book. But listen, girl. She posting comparison pictures. Yeah, yeah, she got a picture of her. I'm like, okay, you doing she the She don't look like Jay-Z? No, nah, hell to the nah. <laughs> Jay-Z, her nose look like this and you know how they do a mark. Yeah. Look at his nose. <laughs> look at them eyebrows. Those are his eyebrows. Them are, them are look at that forehead. <laughs> It's like, girl, I'm a thousand percent I'm a sure. Thousand percent. <laughs> a, yeah, I'm a thousand percent sure you are not the father. Here you go. Ah, ah, oh, then geez. they falling then out. They falling out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got three damn step turn. That was Blue Ivy, Sir, and Rumi. And pure, pure dot. Okay. So Letitia gone somewhere now. Gone somewhere. Gone somewhere. I ain't gonna get her no more time. Well, you think you think she trying to get some money because Mama said again. But this is my thing. That kind of thing. If I'm Jay-Z, Get and I'm going to call him when we end the podcast. Right, please. And I'm going to tell him, just go and take the DNA test to shut her up. Right. Because if you are, cut her a check. Because I, I don't, I, just just go ahead. Why would her mama not pursue him sooner? Because she, her mama married somebody else and that man took care of her something, something, something. That's what she said. That's what and she you said. want that man to, over Jay-Z to take care of her? But Jay-Z, Girl, was, Jay was, he was like, 18, 19, 20 when this was going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, oh. go on somewhere with that foolishness. Yeah. But she knew all her life. So if you knew all your life, why, why now? now? Why now? Because you said she's 20 who? She's 28. Oh, yeah. Why okay. not 18? Just, okay, what's what's 50 minus 28? It says, I know, right? Uh, Nicole? Uh, um, okay, 50, 28, 30, 10, 48. 20, so he'll be 22. Oh, 22. He'll be, he would have been 22. So you had 28 years to be like, Jay-Z, look, my mama said y'all had the fan and something, something, yeah. something. Okay. My mama said you my daddy. My mama said you my baby. You, you her baby daddy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sis, in your absence, I heard about this story, this last one. Mm-hmm. Please tell us about, about Caitlin, Caitlin oh, Watson of that, Elgin, South Carolina, y'all. That. Y'all, and this is a local story, guys. For for people who live not in South Carolina, this is a, a local, local story. story. But you may have heard of it because it's horrible. Yeah. So Caitlin Watson, Caitlin, Caitlin. Watson, mm-hmm. sorry, 23 years old, same age as CJ. Mm-hmm. Um, and some people that know him know her kind of oh, thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, anywho, um, she burned set her car on fire yeah. and with her 14 month old son in there in in the car in the car right there i mean right there off of elmwood yeah right there off right of i-26 i-26 yeah yeah, I, I, yeah. right there okay. four bystanders mm-hmm. stopped to help her get the baby out the car but and everybody was like well how you know well was she screaming my baby my baby i don't know see okay. I, I think they just saw the baby was in the car i would imagine Damn. but at first, it, when it first hit, they were saying she intentionally did it. Sure. So in my head, I'm like, well, how y'all know it was intentional? Intentional, right. Well, because the accelerant was present. She had poured gasoline on the car. Gasoline was on her. Gasoline was on the baby. So she got out the car, doused the car. Yeah. And then it got on. Oh, yeah. damn. There were people who saw her doing that part Stop of it. Stop it. So, anywho, the story is... And the dad, the dad, so Kaylin, have you seen a picture of her? I've seen her picture. She's yes. clearly biracial. Sure, I'm gonna say clearly. Sure, okay. Because it looked like it allegedly, yeah. whatever. She's by bi- um appears to be biracial. Let's okay. put it that way. And her child's father is white. Oh, gotcha. See, I knew. I know. I don't know any of this. this so this is breaking news. This yes. is breaking news. So. Um, I you know through clicking and clicking and clicking, and clicking. on the other people pages. Okay. I saw a picture of him and then I made it to his page. He gives updates on the baby, but allegedly 
they had a fight okay he pull up and he in the new girlfriend car they have a fight Aww. kaylin tries to hit him with the car oh and then she drives off with the baby okay he goes to the police department and tells them what happened okay and says that he's fearful that she drove away and has the baby with her okay at the same time that he's having this conversation with them and they looking for the car and stuff people are calling in saying, saying there's a yeah a corolla on the side of the highway on right fire. on okay. fire oh, with shit. the baby inside so all of this happens simultaneously how old is the baby? Fourteen months. Fourteen months. Okay. Super cute, baby. Sis. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Okay. okay. Why the boyfriend got to drive up with the girlfriend new car? I'm just saying. Just. <sighs> just. Just. Yeah. Just ride yeah. a bike. You drive your car because now you dig in. You dig in. Right. You. You, you know. Right. Even if it wasn't intentional. You know. But then you also have to wonder. I'm trying to find the the post now. But you also have to wonder. How long y'all been broken up? This is the baby right here. How long have y'all been broken oh, up? Oh my! He look like a little girl. Don't he's he so, so cute? cute. Them little blind locks. So oh, Samantha look, Black. Um, shout out to Drake. Drake. That look like Drake baby. <laughs> right. Okay. Correct. Allegedly. So the dad's name is Stephen James Brans- Bramson. Okay. He gives updates every day on the baby's condition. Aww. The baby's name is Kyron. Aww. Um, and he has a a page. Kyron's recovery. A GoFundMe. He's raised nineteen thousand three hundred and seventy dollars. See, see, listen, I, that I can, that I can, I can do right. that. I can give them five dollars. So yesterday, Stephen says, "Did I say his name was Stephen? This, this, this up to yeah. date, right here, sorry. right? Okay. Kyron is staying strong and positive. I can't believe how strong my son is. He's a fighter, and he has won the battle before it began. Yes, he's still healing. Mm. Yes, there will be more surgeries. Mm. The ongoing process. I will say." I would say this not one time that my son acted or fussed or for no reason at all. He is as humble as can be. I can see the pain in his eyes, oh. but I also see that he knows his daddy is here with him and will stay here with for him. We have made it out of ICU and in a regular pediatric area in the okay, hospital. Okay. Not only is he more comfortable, but this is the first night in the past week where I get to sleep in an actual bed and not a hospital chair. Oh. Tuesday he has another surgery but we shall overcome this too I more than appreciate everything everyone has done I truly love our every single one of you who have helped my boy get through this process with support and prayers but we are not out of the woods so please keep my boy in your prayers and still I will continue to update Kyron Kyron getting ready to get the five life t-shirt Kyron getting ready to get the I'm going to order it today he's 14 months I'm going to get a youth extra small and we're gonna sis i need you to okay. find him i need I'll you find, to find, I gotta go find um, Bramson and f- ask him where can we send it okay find find, find for sis that's your mission for aen this week oh lord okay no pressure okay. look no pressure. no pressure no pressure okay so um he's so kaylin if you oh um sis i, I want to move on because i i mm-hmm. don't I'm, I'm feeling for her but i feel more for him well, you was like Jesus. you feeling for what you feeling? No, I'm just saying because I mean she I you, feel you, nothing. No, you you the, you the white boy, and then you driving up with the new girlfriend car, and you probably got a, you know, and you messing with the new girl and left me with Kyron over here. I and, feel nothing, and now you the now you the, the doting dad of the year, and she she snaps it. She snaps I have it. had she man snaps. trials and tribulations, and I've not yet set my children on fire. She was trying to set the car on fire. Damn. She forgot she that Kyron the was back. Lies. Then. She <laughs> lies. Said on post time at nope. Take her on 26. Take her, her on car. I-26 and put her in a car and, and burn her and ass. Burn her ass. So I'm like, damn. Down. And I said, sis, um, what about the therapist? You damn no, the therapist. Damn the therapist. Damn the therapist. I'm like, damn. Okay. This is, I was me before I was a therapist. Okay. And sis, no. what's the baby's name again? Kyron. Kyron. A-E-N, we are here for you. You're going to defy life. You yes. will defy life. And Jay, I need a youth, small, Ooh, extra small, extra small, Ooh, toddler no, size. McKinley had one. I mean, Marley had one, remember? Oh, the the, the, the little onesie. Onesie. So yes. he's 14 months. So you need like a, yeah, like a. A big onesie or something. Yeah. But anyway, Jay. <laughs> we'll figure I, it out. We need, we need it. It's coming. We're going to find him mm-hmm. and he's going to defy life. He's going to do this. Okay. 24 months. That's what you need. Months. Well, Aww. guys, that was the first AEN in the news with my sis back. Why, sis? Because this is what's important to us and we don't care if it's important to you. Thank you for listening. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.
All right. We is moving right along. Moving right along. Oh, no. I, I had something in my head. Okay. But it ain't moving. It's okay. rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling on a river. Oh. Dun, we did that before. We did. Dun, do, 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 do. Hey. Kimberly. Dun, 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 dun. You're not going to do this. Okay, okay. No. It's time for Black, Black Folk, Folk Blue Wayne for, for You. you. See, I gotta keep you. You on gotta track. keep me on track, sis. Okay. Oh, I ain't took my medicine this morning, <laughs> sis. Yes. I don't know if you know about this, but I was very, very disturbed by this story. Okay. Y'all know we gonna do this every damn time, every week until it's okay. Stops. But is it a black? Is it a blue or is it a regular well, person? Well, it's a black folk, blue, your white neighbor, motorist. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody it's just not it's for just you. not for you it's not for you we black black folk ain't nobody for ain't you. nobody for ain't you. nobody for you that's what that's what we're gonna call we it. we on the struggle bus um in saint paul minnesota okay Oof. yeah exactly 39 year old douglas lewis mm-hmm. was shot and killed by 24 year old anthony trifoletti after a traffic accident sis that's all it was it wasn't even a major it was just a fender bender that is it so you mean to tell me i can't have a fender bender and get shot and killed <clears throat> Sis, it was a fender bender. Nobody was hurt. They got out. They exchanged insurance information. The black man hit the white man in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. They got out. They exchanged insurance information. They exchanged numbers. Everything was good. Now, obviously, they didn't call the cops because it was just a fender bender. It was nothing. Right. Okay. Well, so after it was over and they got into their different cars Trifoletti ended up following Lewis. Okay, here we go. Listen to the story now. Mm-hmm. This, this, so this ain't got nothing he's following. To do with so then this, this Lewis, stop! Like, yo, why, why, why are you following me? Trifoletti says unknowingly he was following Lewis. Mm-hmm. So they have an altercation. Mm-hmm. Trifoletti goes into his car mm-hmm. in his glove compartment, pulls out his gun. Mm. Okay, says that he thought. Hold on, says. Let me tell you what he said. He said he thought that he was coming toward him, so he had no other choice but to shoot him and shot him four times. <gasps> four times, sis. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay. So Trifoletti told the cops that um, he said that Lewis told told him he's a part of the GD street gang and say he grabbed his waistband you know like i got it like i got a gun mm-hmm. the witness say ain't nobody heard none of that oh okay the witness said he ain't heard none of that mm-hmm. trifoletti left the scene oh okay went called his dad and he then he went back to the scene but see what he did says he went and called his dad they got the story together right. then he came back right you feel what i'm saying why you left mm-hmm. okay so then sis um uh, Lewis went to the hospital. He died. Now, Trifoletti has been charged with second degree murder and his bail is $1 million. Okay, sis, here's, here's second the, degree. Second degree. Now, check this out. When they were driving, when Lewis stopped, mm-hmm. okay, and asked him, you know, like, what you doing? That's like I get in, a, that's like I get in an accident on Killian Road mm-hmm. and I look back and the same people I got in the accident with, they on Ridgewood where I live. Right. Why, 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 why are you, you over here? Why are you over here? Right. Trifoletti also had a second car with his friends were in. Okay. Okay. His friends were in another car. Mm. Okay. That's why I bet Lewis stopped. Like, what, what, what the hell are y'all doing? You see what right. I'm saying? Right. What you, how y'all just happen to be in the same area after the accident? Well, okay. Here's a lesson. He should have kept going and not stop. I wouldn't have stopped I, until I got to my destination. Uh, but sis, it, I don't even. Because what if he was on his way home? And then now, now you know where he lives. Now, you know, where, well, now you know where I live. You know what I'm saying? Or go to a public something. But I mean, he's a dude. He was a dude. But sis, the friends just happened to be in the same area. Right. I'm just asking. I, I, no. I'm just asking. The friends just happened to be in the same area. No. Okay. So then, so you think he's. You no, know, he no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me tell you what he said. He said he. What did he say? He says he feared for his life when he thought <sighs> Lewis was coming toward him. So see, 
he got some cop action going on. Mm-hmm. That fear for my life yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. And well, his life is over now. So. so sis, was my thing is, was he coming or was he not coming? You right. thought he was coming. Did he take two steps toward you? Correct. Or did he not? And he said something about he grabbed his waistband. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, uh, the Lewis dude grabbed his waistband as if he had a pistol. Okay. So that's what daddy done told him. But to you say. had one. Sir, I, now and he and he had a CWP. Trifoletti had a CWP. Okay, but it doesn't matter. No matter. It doesn't matter. He wanted to kill a black man. That's the, okay. Well, good. Sis, he get to go to jail. Sis, okay. I'm coming towards you. I'm gonna shoot you one time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you twice. I'm, I'm but four times. Four times. Four times. Right. Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. So, Mr. Trifoletti, the hell with you. Yeah. I need the district attorney. And and why sis Google second degree murder? This, this, God, this is our first Google in a long time. Second what degree is, probably because, because we know it premeditated. It wasn't means. premeditated. Okay, so I I I, I want to know. At least it ain't manslaughter, right? More than manslaughter, but you know it's gonna get played down, sis. Guess why? Because Douglas Lewis is not here to tell his side of the story. Right. Only Trifoletti is here. You see what I'm saying? Intentional murder that lacks premeditation. Yeah. Okay, so he killed him on purpose, but he didn't plan to go and do it. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sort of, kind of, because mm. why was he following him? Douglas Lewis had four children. Oh. They said he was a great dad, a hardworking man, oh. not one to be in any mess in any trouble. Another one of our brother's sis gone just too damn and soon. more of our children with no, with, with no fathers, man. And I'm just like, okay, dude, you feel like... You in danger? Why didn't you call the police? Why did right. you? Why did call you get out police. your car? Why, right. why did you get out your car right. and say, "Listen, we just had a fender bender. We exchanged numbers. I'm trying to go. He done stopped again, and you, you just you back. Oh, oh shit, sis. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. He said he wanted to leave the scene, but he was um he was pinned in. There were cars in front of oh, him yeah. and in back of him. Okay, Boy, so bye. see, they done put this shit all together. Mr. Lewis is not here to defend himself or give his side of the story. And I'm just saddened. I'm saddened yeah. by this story, man. Well, I see I'm a, sick of these goddamn people. A story here as of May 8th, Trifoletti's bail was reduced oh. to 500000 Hold on, sis. Did you just Google Trifoletti while we was talking? I sure did. Go ahead, girl. Shit. We, girl, we like sure Batman did. and Batman. Damn. Right. Damn, Damn Batman Robin. and Robin. Okay. <laughs> so it's been reduced to 500000 mm-hmm. Okay. But he's still in though. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they ain't got no money. <laughs> Could they what they need ten percent of that, which would be fifty thousand. Yeah, fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Eh, okay. I I mean, if I needed to bail somebody out with fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> I wouldn't have it. I'd be like, damn, sis. L- L- see you on the other side. Yes, but, but but when you get out, though, we can go get something to eat. Correct. I got, I got you. you. Okay. Well. Okay. And what 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 date was that, sis? This is May eighth. Okay. Of May eighth. So it went. It, it was reduced. reduced. And then since it's gonna be some foolishness, and then it's it's gonna get down to the PR bond. Are they gonna take oh. it down? Oh, wait a minute. On the condition, five hundred thousand dollars. On the condition that he remain under supervision of electronic home monitoring, oh. surrendering all firearms. Use no drugs or alcohol and okay. complete a chemical health assessment. Bill without conditions is seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, so he'll be basically on home arrest or whatever mm-hmm. for five hundred thousand mm-hmm. with the with the ankle monitor, mm-hmm. An- ankle monitor. Okay, yes. all right. Well, Why he ain't just in jail? Well. But no, but he is in jail because he he had to make bail. He got oh, okay. Make, yeah, he has to make bail. He oh, has to pay okay. that before he can get you. out. Well, okay. Well, hopefully he can't. My my thing is this is, oh, his family is not wealthy. You think? Okay, That's, is that what they said? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what I say, sis. Mister Lewis is not here. I don't care whether he stopped. He didn't deserve to be shot no. four times in no. his life taken away from him. It just doesn't matter. And that white boy had his friends. I think they followed him to intimidate him, or you know what, sis? Followed him home to well, make look sure. Look how he looked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Them, them the ones you got to watch out for. Um, we need to post a picture of Mr. Trifoletti. We can. It's okay. public. It's public. You're right. We and, sure and, will. And it's just about to study. This is our show. It's a that's that's a public yeah. picture. Okay. So our our condolences go out to mm-hmm. the family of Mr. Douglas Lewis, his children, Damn. guys. Just. Just, just, children. just, just hang tight and just do the best you can. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that the children know the memory of their dad. Mm-hmm. Hot damn, sis! That was black folk 
Blue, blue ain't for, for you. you, and nobody else and is. And nobody either. else, black folk, the the car, the man in the next car to you, the fender bender man, black folk ain't nobody for us. Sick of these damn people just taking our lives like it ain't nothing. God, sis, we got to go to commercial break. Let's go, guys. We'll be back after these messages. Man, y'all think everything's so damn funny. Welcome to the Speak the Truth Podcast. The Fire Life Squad Up. <laughs> yeah, what up? It's the voice from the Speak the Truth Podcast. Join us every $2 Tuesday for hilarious commentary, current events, social media buzz, and more. Yo, the Fire Life Squad Up. All right, sis. That's our first, com- your first commercial. Back. First commercial. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Guys, check out uh, Speak the Truth on the AEN net. No, the AEN, the AEN, the AEN network. network. Wait a minute. The, the Five Life Podcast Network. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you yeah. you moving a little fast. That's, there, a, that's sis. a forty. That's a podcast forty and slip. Okay. Well, not all right. Okay, guys. So you know, uh, Lynn and I, you know what we do. We 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 talk and do ignorant shit. That's just mm-hmm. that's just what we do. That's what this whole thing is based upon. Lynn sent me some of the most foolish, foolery stuff the other day. <laughs> it made us say. It made us say, "What the what? what? Oh boy, y'all! I I'm slow to Instagram and Facebook, y'all. Y'all know I got our little listeners and our little people, but there's a dude named Norman Freeman." Norm, and we're gonna call this one Norman Freeman and the Walmart shenanigans. But here's the thing about it: you know it's Walmart as soon as it, soon as soon as you see, soon as you it, soon see as you see it, it the, the carts and everything. You know it's Walmart. And it ain't out of the ordinary for Walmart either, because Walmart be yeah. having it going on. I be seeing pictures and people butt, butt. cracks and just, yeah, it's just stuff. What stuff? But sis, please, but this please. tops it all. Sis, y'all so listen. I did. I've seen Norman here and there. I think Norman is that picture that when you is he in the gifts. Hold on. Okay. The gifs. The gifs. Is, is it, it gifs or gifs? I think it's. I don't God even know. Damn it. Okay. I'm mad if it's G- gifs. I'm G-I-F. mad. G I F. Okay. Okay. So there's a picture of what appears to be a woman that is a gif. I'm okay. gonna try to find it. And he looking. Crazy. Looking crazy. I think that's Norman, but okay. I ain't know about Norman until I saw this this Walmart video. Okay, I don't know what Norman doing. I saw somebody sent me a video mo- months ago, mm-hmm. and I thought it was real. I thought they were showing me the 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 video of a person who was having an actual breakdown, but it was this Norman dude. Had no idea. <laughs> but y'all, go ahead. No, tell us about this foolishness that you sent. So right here. Norman decided to go in Walmart, Ooh. and I would love to know. Who, how he got who he got to go with him okay that's number one that's the first thing that's number one how you get two people not just one two people to follow you to do this ignorant shit right okay that's number one so norman goes in walmart yes with a drummer a dressed full-fledged full-fledged in a marching, band, marching outfit. band outfit crazy he, and the drummer is drumming and Mar- norman is a walking yes and he getting it and he's he getting get, it with yes. them little pole legs yes. with the cheerleader dr- I, I, skirt on God, lord have mercy y'all we gonna post a video y'all yes. probably seen it but see it again because well, norman is a damn fool yes so he's walking through walmart walking through just walmart making, so the drum is being and he's got the megaphone and it, no what you call it what you call that thing isn't that a megaphone, megaphone? is it yeah. a megaphone, megaphone? yeah uh-huh. i was gonna say xylophone no megaphone. yeah no and he you know what you know here i come or whatever he's saying yeah. whatever they, he's and saying the, and the dude behind him beating the drum and, and it sound good too and he just doing his walk got on his heels walk. okay first of all do you think those are really red bottoms i'm gonna call them pink bottoms what you think probably okay because they look patent leather was red bottoms where they had red bottoms on the bottom oh yeah you know I mean? oh, no, i'm, I'm analyzing yeah the they video probably I'm to, but i'm i'm gonna venture to say they that probably they burgundy would. bottom okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna call them pink bottoms i don't think they're red but maybe so not because he might be making gazillions of dollars he might be. he's an okay. influencer so y'all he so i i i, po- I hit click because i said if lynn sent it to me it must be important <laughs> no <laughs> it wasn't important i don't know about important lynn but. that was the most ignorant the most so ignorant. y'all and we, and we 
All we're going to do is post a picture. But here, here the here, video. Here, we're going to post the video. video. Uh, we're going to post the video. It's about maybe six, seven minutes long. Yes. Okay, so here's my first take from it. Mm-hmm. He said, on the, on the megaphone, guys, he said, I want all the ladies to pop that pussy like this. Okay? <laughs> Y'all, Norman. Sorry, you Mom. So, well, no, that ain't a cuss word. They, ain't. Who ain't? Says, that is a bad word. Norman ain't got no pussy. I'm That's just a saying. bad word. Mama, she sorry. M- Mama, I'm going to tell her not to listen to this episode. Okay. Sis, Norman ain't got no pussy. Stop what? saying it. Pootie don't have no vag. Po- Pooty cat. Okay. But, but he, didn't say, he didn't say y'all pop y'all vag like this. He said pop the P-U. This the picture right here. That is Norman. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. But anyway. Yes. So okay. He, he don't. He ain't got no hair either. He got alopecia. Oh, does he? Yeah. So okay. That's why the wigs be looking crazy. Okay. So sis, that mm-hmm. okay. So my, my first thought was, he said that he told the people to pop it like that. Uh huh. Then as what he is was, you popping, Norman? Y'all, he was dancing and shellacking and shimmying, and then his wig start moving and he shook it back into place. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the wig be flat because he got yes. no hair. He shook it back into place, right? <laughs> then, as Lynn stated, he <laughs> okay, we gonna have to put, we gonna have to look at Norman he, stuff because Norman is a fool. Is a fool. So then he had the drummer, right? Then he dropped the skirt and had on the damn thong. Thong, okay, with that okay. little itty bitty with, booty. His little booty ain't no bigger than Marley booty, okay. His little booty ain't no bigger than Marley. Marley got more booty than him. Marley surely. and McKinley. Anderson and Mir got oh, more, booty more booty than that little thing that he had. <laughs> so then he had the he then he had the the, the what you call him says the the the, the thong the thong on yeah. Then he pulled the skirt back up <laughs> and he put it on cricket. So now okay sis now I'm laughing okay I'm laughing. Right. I was trying to hold it together but I was like okay this is ignorant this is ignorant ignorant as hell. Okay so then after he does all that. Then they tell him to get out. And he won't start running. You done been <laughs> in Walmart. You done been in Walmart for eight minutes, acting a straight fool. A straight fool. And then he looking back. And says, but you know what? I think he was good until he pulled that skirt down. Then says, people start looking at him sideways and was cussing him out, crazy. talking about kids in the store and yes. all kind of food. And that's why they call the people. But sis, and he had to run out the store. I was like, Norman, sis, y'all, all we just want to. And I guess he'll have thousands more likes and listens we just wanted to put that was some ignorant shit you said that was Correct. ignorant that was ignorant i love it and it was enough so we're gonna post that y'all tell us if you think it's funny if you've seen it if you haven't seen it have you ever seen norman before but that made us say what the, the what <laughs> holy cow okay all right guys um we had a uh email listener question was it an email well, okay. Well, no, it was mm. a, it was a, uh, what you call a mm. DM? It was a DM. Mm. Sis, it doesn't matter. It's, it's correspondence. It's feed. It's people reaching out. True. Oh, go ahead. Say your piece. Mm-hmm. Say your piece. Say your I will piece. go, go with that. However, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I introduce a drop? Go ahead. Cause look, cause you cut me off. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So then anyway, I'll, so I'll express you, my feelings. Thing. So anyway, guys, we had a le- uh, a le- mail. We had an <laughs> email listener question. Go ahead, sis. Go ahead. Say your piece. Say your piece. I am in my feelings. Okay. Why are you in your feelings? Because A, uh, you got the DM. I It came to me personally. Yes. Not A-E-N. That is That's true. the first problem. That's number one. Okay. The second problem is, I ain't going to keep saying A-E-N at go to com if y'all ain't going to use the got doggone, I'm trying not to cuss, the email. A-E-N at go to com. Okay. I got you. I got you. Email us. <laughs> At, at A-E-N at go to life dot com. Okay. Not Kim Cannon. <laughs> not Pearson Boykin Lynn girl. Okay. okay. Yes. I would even accept mess a mess a DM to A-E-N on Facebook. Can we do that? You I think. Well see now now okay, so y'all let's do that. Because now this is know. the second time since you've been gone that I've had a, a, mm-hmm. a that beat, came straight to your that came to the Kim we, my last name. What yes. we're not doing oh. is blowing up Kim's DMs. Oh. We don't want you sliding in her DMs. Well, no, it's, but they they sliding in my DM for us though. I don't care. You don't care. Okay, you no. wanted that A E N that go to follow. Yes. Well, maybe they got no email. Whatever. No. Okay. All right. Because see, I'm in A E N now. There's nothing there. Last email we got oh. was from. Uh, y'all she come back with the same Nicole 
Okay, on she, 4 8 she 20. come back with the same with the foolery, same y'all. foolery with okay. the same gripe. Well, can I get into the AEM? Go ahead, to, okay, to the, y'all. To the email, so we're gonna do the listener email slash DM to the to the question. DM because people sliding in your DM. Sis, would you like? Would you like nobody have, sliding in my DM? Oh, okay, Lord. go ahead. Would you like me to read it? Would you like to have the honors of reading? You read it because it came I'm, in my DM. Correct. Okay. All right, guys. This is this is a a DM inbox question that we have my current boyfriend has a problem with my best friend who is a male Mm. we were friends before me and my boyfriend got together we have been friends for over 10 years we talk about everything and do things together i have tried to introduce my boyfriend to my best friend but he doesn't want to get to know him my boyfriend thinks that he should be my best male friend what i hate is that I lie to him about how much we talk because I don't want to argue. I really don't know what to do. Should my boyfriend be my best friend? And his sign stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle with is you. It, oh, that's, that's a song. song. Uh-huh. Stuck in the middle with you. You don't know the words. I don't. <laughs> okay. Neither. I just know that part. Listen, should I never even heard that part? Okay. Sis. <clears throat> what should her boyfriend be her best <clears throat> friend? No. Okay. All right. Should she leave her not be her best friend because her boyfriend has a problem? No. Oh. Okay. Well, damn. Okay, that was simple. Next, yeah. Ne- next, next thing. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So okay. no, let's talk about it. Let's so, talk about it. Her boyfriend has a problem with her best friend who was a male. Right. Okay. Who was the best friend before the boyfriend? Best friend before the boyfriend. That's what makes the difference. Okay. That makes the difference. Okay. Right. Okay. When you compare it to some other situations. But anywho. What the hell? Huh? What the, what the hell are you doing? I mean, when you compare it to other situations where (laughs) you've heard about. I thought you were ready to go personal over it. No, no, no. Okay. 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 I'm like. However. Okay. All right. However. Okay. They've been friends for 10 years. Right. Over, ten, over 10 years best friend was there first okay so you kind of yeah. now do there should there be boundaries yes okay she say, okay are you talking to best friend at midnight is best no. friend you know tagging along on dates you know just right you gotta set and we don't know you can have your best friend because even with your girlfriend best friends when right. you get in a relationship you have to set boundaries you have to set boundaries you that's can't right. just show up at my house that's right that's right you know you can't expect me to give all my time to you okay okay but don't call be disrespectful especially if you're a male best friend and call all time of night and okay. stuff like that okay and you know and 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 she didn't indicate this no in, in no email. and i'm just saying hypothetically okay so should your boyfriend be your best friend? Well, no, he should be one of your best friends. One of, okay, okay. But not your best friend. Okay. No, you got to have other people. How about I have tried to introduce my boyfriend to my best friend, but he doesn't want to get to know him. That's some foolery. See, that's on him. Yes. That's on him. And that's if, his foolery. If she, because I was like, okay, maybe it's like, mm, you should, that ain't your damn friend. Mm-hmm. But that I've tried to introduce you. If you don't want to introduce, now see your problem now is on you. Correct. Because you could meet him. Mm-hmm. Hell, y'all might end up being cool. Exactly. Okay. Which is which is the hope. That is the hope. That but is since, the hope. So the question is, why doesn't he want to? See, right. Now, I'm saying you got a man, dude who kind of he, he, yeah, he might he like, being he, petty. He like a little biatch. Little, right. He, he be, like a he's biatch. being real petty. Yeah. Because there's no reason not to go ahead and meet dude and establish what could be a three-way friendship a three-way friendship and of course y'all are going to maintain your friendship mm-hmm. but you know he can he ha- he has the opportunity to see how comfortable yeah. he's going to be so for me and ain't nobody asking them to, to be best friends as well because just you know you want you want to i mean if personally it was a female, i've been in that situation yeah you know met the best friend she cool we Every, cool everything we cool. don't hang out right we you know speak via facebook we speak when we see each other exactly. you know we know but there's a but level of comfort there's there a level you yeah because you met that's right yeah spent okay. time with her and her family all is well okay there okay. was never any and there was never any um what's the word any reservations right about introducing her to me and the fact that she or me would, meeting her the fact that she said now and we don't know if this is the damn truth but right. based on what we have the fact that you tried to introduce mm-hmm. says that there's nothing more right. going on there exactly. because now after 10 years since they if they was gonna get together they probably They'd have been together by now okay Lord that's my point now here but how about this is 
What I hate is that I lie to him about how much we talk. Now, see, but that's because he's being petty. But but he's being petty. He's being petty. So now you're putting, no, it's her choice to lie. Because now, just let me ask you this, sis. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like, Lynn, I don't, I don't, I'm your boyfriend. I don't like you talking to Jethro because y'all just talk too damn much. Okay. And Uh you're like, okay, okay. So we're trying to work it out. Mm -hmm. But now me and you got this whole thing going on over here. And I mean, thing like we still talking. I'm like, girl, I'm telling you about the the, the dude, Mm -hmm. the girl I done met or whatever. Mm -hmm. Are you going to, should you tell me the truth and be like, no, I'm talking to my friend. I'm talking to him. We talk every day and you can either like it or lump it. I think what you can do is set a boundary with friend. Like friend, I know when we, when I'm not in a relationship, we talk 17 times a day, but now we're going to have to talk, you know, 12 times a day. Cause but why? Cause, well, because you in a relationship and you all talking 17 times a day, you got to give some time to the boy. I mean, I'm going to give you some time, but damn, it can be around my same But I would expect for you to do the what, same what when you we get a girlfriend. What if we don't live together? Who? What, and see, that's what I, got, I, I love these, but I hate them. Because like, okay, do y'all live together? Because if we had the house chilling and we done had our nightly conversation, I should be able to be on the phone yeah, with my damn best friend. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And see, and we don't know. I... I I think that he's just being petty. I think so too. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Or either the boyfriend cute and he might be a little jealous. The best friend, you know? I mean the best friend, excuse yeah. me, the best friend might be a little, you mm-hmm. know, maybe a little chunky or you well, know. That's little, still being petty. That's you know, because that obviously she chose you, sir. That's my point. She chose you. So what advice do you give to stuck in the middle? <sighs> <laughs> Keep that boyfriend to the curb. Are you serious? See, I, that's what I was thinking. See, see how we can just says, I was thinking, get out now. Mm-hmm. And, I, and see, it, it doesn't mm-hmm. say, guys, how long they've been together. Yeah. So we don't know. Because you come you come with, you come into relationships with people. Yes. So you think if, if I was in, I got in a relationship with somebody that'd be like, nah, you got to kick him to the curb. I'm kick him to the curb. Okay. Because, and then, because when what? this relationship is over, you have now ruined our thing because Correct. you chose that person. Yeah. Because those friends are likely going to be there forever right you know what i'm saying a 10-year friendship that's a lot yeah um i'm gonna say stuck in the middle don't lie because once you lie and he finds out that y'all talk more than what you do that's going to be a problem Mm -hmm. let him Mm -hmm. go to um our website and check out the companion piece hurt me with the truth that was my companion that was a did did you read that since you need to read my companion piece it's but I'll read it. It's really good. But it's about telling the truth. And once you tell the truth, mm-hmm. your job is done. Wait, did I read it? Girl, I don't remember. It, it was posted Friday. Okay. Did you did you post it on Facebook too? I posted on AEN. Okay. And it's posted good. on the website. Because the Lord knows I can get to it on AEN quicker. Okay. But yeah, so that that's what that's what I said. So don't lie about telling him how often y'all talk right let him if he can't handle it then let him make his decision yeah let him make his decision correct but you're coming with your truth right you know what i'm saying so i don't know how damn it don't have how old they are if Mm. you in your 20s or something stuck in the middle get out the middle girl get gone go and do your thing now, if you full churn in and whatever and married or then something, y'all got to figure it y'all out. Y'all might figure but. it out. But if you young and y'all just doing this thing, girl, bye. Right. Get, get rid of him already. Go be with your friend until you meet the next one. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thank y'all you. Y'all a package deal. Thank you. Stuck in the middle. Appreciate that. Sis, we are doing really good. All right. It is time for. This, 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 this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This, this, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. All right, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I cannot tell you how I cheese when I hear that. Did I do good? Sis, I did good. Sis, I, sis, I did good last week though. when yes. I did it. I did good. And Edison did good. tripped me out because Mira's like, "This ain't got nothing to do with nothing." And Edison's like, "This ain't got nothing to do with nothing." That's right. That's right. It, it went from high <laughs> to low. That's right. That's right. And me and he the baby. Exactly. Sis, what you got? What you got? This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Okay. And it came up right before I got here. Okay. Why do spiders think that they could just build their webs wherever the hell did they want to? Did you say spiders? Spiders. Okay. Um, you ran into a spider where? I did. Oh. In the house? What? No, outside. In the car. Go they like to build their webs from the carport <laughs> to the car. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And around and around. Okay. Apparently, somebody <laughs> thought it was a good idea to build one from the top of the carport 
over to my car so i walk through it yes yes and so you know do. when you walk through the spider web you be like this yes you be like damn <laughs> right right have you ever seen a man say the, the spider the spider web dance and he did because he'd be like he'd be not, <laughs> couldn't do the spider yeah. web dance that was cute oh it's so annoying but that anyway why i just don't get it like okay. y'all can ha- you can have your space well it's because um it's mother nature and it's something to cling on and hang on and your car really shouldn't be there and the carport's not supposed to be there and that that's why they decided to do that mm-hmm. yeah pretty much no that's wrong okay all, right, all the way wrong okay um all the way wrong yeah i wonder if that who was there first you or the spider now that i don't if well, the spider was there first then you came and interfered in their thing that's true okay well right. can we work together yes i ain't killing them which this is just move just go to the left and just go from the house to the carport not from the, the carport to the, to the car right or carport to carport the carport is big just anything just, just you know let you get to your just car. can i get to my car okay i got okay you. i got you mm-hmm. that's all you got anything else what else you got that's all i got right that's now. all you got Sis, you've been gone for seven damn weeks, and that's all you get. <laughs> that's all you got. You come back by the spider for right now. Okay, for right now. Sis, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know that white girl from the Parkers? The white girl. The, she, the shoulder Parkers? The Parkers, yeah. And remember the white girl who was the best friend of the daughter? Yeah. Where she at? I ain't know. Let's find out. Okay, well, let me tell you, let me tell you why. So I woke up the other morning. I couldn't go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. And I just happened to be on BET. And the Parkers was on. Okay. And it made me think, where that white girl at right now? <laughs> I, that ain't had nothing to do with that. That ain't had nothing to do with that. Jennifer Oy. Yeah. Sure. That's who I thought it was. Okay. She was also on. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you just pick her damn name? You knew her name? How the hell do you know her name? Because she was also on um, Blossom. It, it doesn't she was matter. Blo- she was Blossom's best friend, too. How many people out there knew that I was talking about Jenna Van Oy? Jenna Von Oy. Von Oy. She is no longer acting, as a matter of fact. Well, she is a regular person. Oh. Living in a regular house. Doing regular stuff. With a husband and some churn. Just being regular. White pe- a white picket <laughs> fence and a dog. Yes. Okay. She actually was on something. I wonder if she's Fairly still getting recently. a check from the Parkers. I wonder because if she do, if even if it's even if it's a hundred dollars a month, because they be playing them over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Okay, sis, this, you know we still in COVID. I went to um, Food Lion on Broadway Road mm-hmm. uh, Wednesday, mm-hmm. and I got the car, and it was ten thousand four hundred sixty four people in there, Ooh. and probably one other person other than me having a mask. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm sorry. I sis, I I got nervous and I turned the fuck around. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, mm. I, I turned around, sis. They were all in there and they didn't have on masks. Uh-uh. It was just people. It Mm-mm. was just droves of people and they didn't have on masks, sis. And so what? Guess what? That it had nothing to do with nothing, but they got something to do with something. Well, this got something to do with something. I don't. Why? Why is it that Ooh. our quote unquote leaders don't understand that? Opening the world back up meant that people were literally going to yes flock to flock and sis so and think that everything is okay. I sis, I got the closer I got, then Miss Ang Miss Anx, I've had Miss Anx under control for a minute now. Okay, I got hmm. the closer I got, sis, and I felt like they were looking at me like, why the hell she got on the mask? I you left. Around. I turned around. I kind of kind of went, went to Chick Fil A. Yeah. Oh wow. I went. Chick- I went to Chick Fil A. I did because Chick Fil A. I can see that they're COVID conscious. Since mm-hmm. nobody had on masks, oh, man. That's horrible. So that ain't had nothing to do with nothing, but it has something to do with something. Well, you have heard that China has officially had a second wave, and oh. they about to lock down again. Oh, sis. Oh wait. Oh, we ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, we ain't. See- we ain't seen nothing yet. So for the rest for the rest of the, the twenty twenty for sure, I'm in. I'm on COVID lockdown. I'm on shelter in place. Mm-hmm. Okay, sis, my last one. Mm-hmm. Is it appropriate for somebody to tell you, man, you sure need to stay away from the table? Mm. <laughs> no. Isn't that horrible? Horrible. So, I'm out the other day, mat- suited and booted, as I call it, mask on, gloves on. I was in Family Dollar. And I just happened to be six feet from behind another person mm-hmm. who she ran into somebody that she knew. And the lady said, girl, you sure need to stay away from the table. I was like, oh, my. That's so horrible. And so she the, told her she was fat. She told her she was fat. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Since she told her she was yeah. fat. Yes. And she, somebody, she said, uh, she looked offended. She was like, she should have. She said, uh, my, I, I, I don't know what to say. But sis, 
the lady said, and I, she said, you sure need to stay away from the table. I was like, oh my Lord. I was like, damn, why, are, her you, heart. <laughs> why are you saying that? Damn. Okay, so that, bless that, her heart. Bless no, her look. That is wrong. That is wrong. She told her she was fat. She told her she for was my a, water top. I can't find okay, it. No, I, I see it though. You see it. Okay. I just can't reach but, it. Sis, I would have been like, F you. Right. I mean, not girl, how you been? Right. Do you have a thyroid problem? She said, You sure need to stay or away nothing from the, stay or away. say nothing or say, Sis, she told you, you need to stay away from the table. Call the girl, call the girls when you get home and be like, Girl, I seen Shirley. I see. She she need to stay away she from the table. Stay away from the table. That's like, um, <laughs> Sis Tyson saying, You ain't got to go to Lady Town. <laughs> Jesus. Did you see the last sis, one? Sis, yes. Sis, you been going. Can, okay, sis. Can we? I talked about it on the show with Roz. You did. You did. In the check-in. Yes, you did. Sis, can we talk about it next week? Yes. Can we just. We can have sis, a. a we, we, we're going to go back. Say goodbye to. A say goodbye to how to get, how away, to get with away with murder. All right. God, God damn. Come on, sis. Let's get on the body here, y'all. Oh, okay. okay. So, another. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Um. So, I've made a decision. Okay. Uh-oh. I have been avoiding and oh. saying no to oh. this for a very long time. Oh. Breaking news? Breaking news. Okay. But I think I'm going to step into the waters. Step into the waters. What the hell of becoming oh. a fur baby mom. <gasps> dun, what? Dun, dun. Oh, girl. A I'm fur like, baby mom. You got, I'm like, you, you, y'all ought to see the way I'm, I'm like, Lynn, what? A doggy. A puppy? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think I told you I love that idea for you. A girl. I love the boys. I don't want no girls. Okay. Well, I need some more estrogen in my okay. house. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I you need should. some estrogen. I think I saw dots. Um, shout out to dot. I saw dots post. I did too, and yeah. I was like, "Can you take that girl off of there, please? Because okay, she's already claimed." I got a call, dot, because Ross said, "Yeah." Oh. Yeah, but we dun, dun, dun. we're worried about Poco. We're yeah. worried about how it's going to do how. Poco is going to adjust because po- we want Poco's last days to be happy, happy, yeah. and not feel threatened oh, by another puppy or something like that. Days. But I mean, you know, Poco fourteen, so I'm hoping he'll be around fourteen more years. But you know, oh, all, right. Lord. all right, sis, come on. So, so we'll you, we'll get more are into you that as time. Going to or you have you made the final decision? I will. I didn't know where the hell you were going. Listen, I know. I, I had I had no idea where you were <laughs> oh, going. Oh, with I'm about to do the most with this. Okay. I'm about to do the most. Okay. With what? With what? With be- becoming a fur mom. Mm. Like, we're going to have a baby shower and everything. You will not. I sure will. You absolutely <laughs> a will A doggy not. shower. You will have. No, you will <laughs> not. We're going to have an announcement. We're going to have a shower. What the baby name? What the baby name? Because I already know you I know. I don't know the baby name yet. Okay. I'm working on it. I got okay. some, some possibilities. Well, if we get a little boy, his name is going to be Keegan. The hell? That's a person name. Okay, wait a minute. I lied. Tegan. Excuse me. Tegan. <laughs> From how to get away. From how to get away. <laughs> I love that. I, I love, do like that name. I love though. that name. But that's a person sis, name. Can we can we end the show and talk about this okay, off the air? Sure. Get, sis, we are brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, guys, you can check out our podcast and any of our podcasts from the network on uh, www.defylifepods.com. Okay, so I was, <laughs> I was supposed to say something. Um, yep, yeah. and guys, check out our companion pieces on our website www.goodbyeour. Yes, uh, she go knows to I like doing them things. I am, I'm loving my companion pieces, she honey. Okay, know I like doing I'm going to be a full fledged hour. goddamn journalist by the time. This All is right, over. Okay, will you honey. be a journalist, yes, girl? Yes, yes, yes. Um, Lynn, we need to come up with another design for our for the summer for AEN. We what need you to, mean? We need to get with our um, designer and maybe, and maybe just have something or maybe just maybe not the picture or something I'm not, i don't know but we need something else because it's been a year okay, we need, we need yeah. to do something we else so jay it up. jay we coming to you baby we need something else um email us where's this aen at go to five life.com patrons not we love sliding you. in dms oh my god patrons we love you and this week we are shouting out to edison mir marley and mckinley we love y'all you know what we need you know what we need what? we need a picture of all four of them i i, I that's, thought the same that's thing what earlier. we need that's yes. what we need we i need was gonna picture. say that yes we need a picture of all four. we're gonna make that happen guys yes. so y'all can see our babies um since we drop an episode when Every Tuesday. All right. Even though it came out on Wednesday this week. Sis, but I wasn't we going to say nothing. We are up, sis, to over 360 light. Check and see. Check and see right quick. We got we got exactly less than two minutes, sis. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurrying. Hurrying. Hurry up. 
Sort of. Um, because we were at three twenty-two, remember? And mm-hmm. I think we're three fifty or sixty now. Ch- check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. I'm chicken. I'm check chicken. It. Check it. I'm chicken. Guys, share. And we go to like Malcolm J. Harris. Like, click, and subscribe. Like, <laughs> click, and subscribe. Like, <laughs> click, and subscribe. Um, three yeah. three hundred and sixty-two people follow. Okay, that's the followers. Is what mm-hmm. I'm talking about. That's what, not likes. We got three hundred. But sis, three sixty-two. So, so that 40. has that is an increase. That is an increase by almost nice. forty. By almost forty, guys. Once we get to 400, y'all know we got hashtag 500 followers. That's, All right. that's our thing. So y'all can help us do that by um, please. liking, sharing, and subscribing. Yes. And commenting and rating and Follow all that the stuff. Page. Follow us on Follow anything, us. everything, and nothing podcast on Facebook. Yes. And on Instagram, we are A-E-N. Do dot not ask me because I have no idea. Okay, I don't here? know. Let me see. Okay, I, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I'm hurrying. Hurry but up. This is important. Yes. Yeah, linenkim. dot I'm sorry, I said okay. it backwards. Linenkim. dot and yes. that's it on Instagram. On Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, and we got some other. Now that my sis is back, we got some news that we're gonna come out with. Mm-hmm. So, guys, we need you to help us. Our next goal is to get on Pandora. We can't get on Pandora right. until you follow us, like us, share us, and we got to have the numbers. So. What it is, like, subscribe, and share. Right. We love you guys. Sis, I love you. I love you. I, I'm happy. I love you. Uh. I, I love, love you. I love. That's uh, Lenny. Lenny. That's Lenny Wilkins. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny Williams. Lenny Wilkins is the damn basketball coach. Oh, Lord. Lenny, Lenny Williams, girl. All right, sis. I love you. I'll see you next week. You see you next week. All right. All right. Um, Lynn. Hmm. We are defined life because you're back. But if you ain't defined life, then what are you doing? Later. If you're into all things comics, you have to check out Take a Knee for Marvel vs. DC, your go to podcast for comic and superhero discussion, debates, polls, and more. Tune in as regular Scott and Ozzy Killmonger chat about your favorite comic topics, and you never know who may show up for an open mic or what will be next on their favorite One Gotta Go. Take a knee for Marvel vs. DC every Sunday, powered by the Defy Light Podcast Network.